Hi, I'm Joy Colley. Today we're going to look at a prokaryotic cell for Biology 101 here at Aiken Technical College. General structure and composition. Look at a prokaryotic cell. This one happens to be a nice bacillus or rod shape. Looks like a giant capsule. A couple of obvious structures that we see are on the external surface. These are the pili. Internally, all of this red structure represents the DNA, the genetic material. In a prokaryotic cell, like a bacteria, like this one, there is no nuclear envelope. It's not contained within a membrane. It's loose throughout the cell. The cell has a cell wall made of peptidoglycan, which surrounds the plasma membrane. Inside of the cell, we use the same terminology with all cells. Everything is the cytoplasm. The liquid is the cytosol. There are a couple things that we find within the cytoplasm of a prokaryotic cell. All of the little blue dots are ribosomes. All of the red circles are what we call plasmids. Plasmids are small rings of DNA that the bacteria can use for a variety of purposes. This cell also has an external structure, the flagellum. Flagella is used primarily for motion or propulsion of the cell. Inside the cell, there is a little white structure. We refer to that as an inclusion. That can be a little bit of anything that the bacteria has accumulated and keeps in the cell without surrounding it in a membrane. It will just be loose in the cell. I'm going to try to zoom in for just a moment and see if we can take a closer look at the ribosomes and the plasmids. Okay, here we've zoomed in on a prokaryotic bacterial cell. We can see a little bit of the DNA material loose in the cell. Once again, the blue dots are ribosomes for protein synthesis, and the red circles are plasmids, mini rings of DNA. We get a nice view of our cell wall versus our plasma membrane, and of course, our flagella for propulsion. All right, that's our prokaryotic cell.